Hello and welcome. This is Lennox Mac from FreelanceTech.com. Uh, today I'm going to teach how you, to use MK Link, how you you actually create a symbolic link, and how you uh, remove the symbolic link. Let's go ahead and jump right in. And this comes in handy if you need something to show up on a particular folder. Um, this would be the way to go. Um, it's quick and it's easy. Um, I'm just going to show that under my C drive, I have these are the folders that I have right now. The key of using MK Link is not to send it to a folder you already have. If it's a folder that's already created, it is not going to work. Again, it has to be a, a folder that, that's non existent. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open our command line uh, and we're going to run this. I'm running Windows 7, uh, so I'm running as administrator. And yes, so the first thing that we're going to do is let me actually just um, let me go back to the root. Um, and I created a file here. Hopefully, it helps and it's not confusing. Um, this is how the structure should be mk link space forward slash d as in dog um, then remember to to, to put your uh, colons here um, then you're going to put your destination and then your target and you're going to have a space between if it's too simple, you know, if I'm saying it too simple for people, please excuse me. Um, I'm just doing it for all the newbies that, that might have questions about it. So the the file that I, or the, the command that I'm actually going to run is this, and we'll dissect it. Here's the command, obviously. Then I'm going to send it to a, a folder that I'm going to create, or actually the MK link is going to create. It's going to be called network. Then it's going to go to uh, a shared drive that I have on this particular server, and it's called videos. It's actually, in short, it's going to be for my kids' uh, videos to be shared. Um, yeah, go figure. So let's go ahead and just highlight this, uh, copy, and I'm going to paste it over here. So what you're going to notice is when I hit when I hit the command, and if it's successful, it's going to create a folder called network and let's test it and there it is here's the folder that was created and if I double click on it here's the all the movies so you can see it was very simple I mean it was just a matter of again MK link forward slash D now if you want to see all, all the switches you could also do MK link uh, forward slash question mark and they'll give you all the different switches that you have. So um, for this discussion, we're using D. Uh, we're doing a cre creating a directory symbolic link. Now, when you want to remove, if you do delete, then you'll delete stuff that's in there. Uh, you don't want to do that. So how you actually get rid of the symbolic link is you actually just do RM, and I'll do it over here in Notepad. Um, new, uh, yeah, that's fine. So to to get rid of the symbolic link that's here, what you're going to do is you're going to type in rm for remove, dir for directory, and the name of the directory. In my case, it's called network. And we'll test it. I'm going to highlight this, copy, and you're going to see that this symbolic link is going to go away. I'll paste it here. Uh, oh, oops. I forgot to, to put the... Um, uh, SC colon backslash. Uh, No, 
know what? You know what? I messed up. I, I, it's RM. I think I already had something on there. You guys probably noticed it. RM directory. And then it's going to be network. And yeah, there it is. So, like an idiot, I I had something in the front. Oh, I already had the RM. So go figure. It happens. So you can see the symbolic link is gone. Um, yeah, hopefully this video helps. Um, you know, the good stuff. Subscribe, like. Um, follow us on our website. Uh, again, freelancetech.com. All those different things can be in the description. And thanks for watching.